Hey y'all, sup? It's Blake here, with another video for ya. As I'm sure you know, Sonic Origins recently got the version 1.04 update. It adds in a number of bug fixes, and the full notes for those fixes can be reviewed over at the Sega Asia website, in case you didn't know that. And also some codes that can be utilized using the sound test in Sonic 3's level select menu. For this video, we're just going to focus on one of those codes, specifically the one that enables flight gameplay for Super or Hypersonic and Tails and Knuckles while we're at it. Now before we get started with this video, I'd like to point something out real quick. I recently collaborated with Codename Gamma for a video that's been posted on her own channel. In that video, we go over all of the codes that were just unlocked for Sonic 3 in Sonic Origins. If you'd like to learn about what every code can do, I suggest that you go and check that video out and drop a sub with code name Gamma while you're at it. If you're only here to learn about how you can fly with Super or Hypersonic in Sonic 3 Origins, then feel free to keep watching this video. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. The reason why I'm doing this quick tutorial video here is because after the update dropped, I posted a couple of gameplay clips where I was flying around as Hypersonic. Yes, quite literally flying. And people have since commented on those clips being all like, Wait, you can fly with Hypersonic now? And the answer to that is, yes you can. Some will refer to this code as Egg Reverie Movement. If you're not familiar with Egg Reverie, it's the secret final boss in Sonic Mania, which you unlock by getting all the Chaos Emeralds and getting to the end of the game. During that boss fight, you assume your super form and gain the abilities to fly around and do a super dash that costs 5 rings with each use. This code for Sonic 3 Origins allows you to bring that gameplay straight into Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and it's as simple as inputting the correct codes in the sound test menu. But first to use the sound test, you're gonna need to get to the level select, and here's how to do that. First, go to the title screen for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and input this code. Up, up, down, down, up, 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 and up. You should then hear a ring sound effect. Then you'll press any button you want, and you'll keep scrolling down until you see sound test. You'll then click that, and BOOM! There's the level select. And to the lower right, you should see the sound test feature. You will use this to input the code that you need to unlock the Egg Reverie movement or the ability to fly in your Super or Hyper form. Before we get around to that code, however, let's talk about two other codes real quick. The first of those two is the All Emeralds code. It's simply 4126. If you input this code, you'll get all the Chaos Emeralds which unlocks your Super form. Input this code a second time, and you'll get all the Super Emeralds, which means that your Hyper Form is locked and loaded. To make things easier, I'm going to use this code twice and get access to my Hyper Forms. I'll also go for the code that unlocks Debug Mode. This one is 19941018. This code gives you access to a Developer Mode of sorts, in that you get to review the stage boundaries, play with anti-gravity, and even plant item monitors, rings, or other stage objects wherever you want. Among the item monitors you can use, one of them will instantly unlock your super form. It'll have an S across the front. Breaking this turns you into your super or hyper form and immediately gives you 50 rings. This will be useful to have. Now we can get around to the Egg Reverie movement code. This one is basically the release date for Sonic Mania. 20170815. I don't know how many of you noticed this, but these Sonic 3 sound test codes are based off of release dates, birthdays, or other special occasions. That's pretty cool. Whenever a code is input correctly, you should always hear a sound effect. If you don't hear a sound effect, the code is either wrong or doesn't exist. Just keep that in mind. Once you're all set, pick any level you want to play and fire it up. Once the stage loads up, you'll then use debug mode to give yourself the resource you need to assume your super or hyper form. Just be sure that when you go into a stage, you see a mess of numbers and letters at the upper right first. If you do, you'll know for a fact that debug mode is active. Also keep in mind, I'll be using Xbox controls for this video as I do play Origins on my Xbox Series S. With that out of the way, let's get into it. To activate debug mode, press the X button. Your character will then turn into a small circle with an S across the front. You can use a left stick or a D-pad to move around while in debug mode. A button to cycle through items, and the B button to cycle through variants of each item. For example, while you're on your item box like this, you can then press the B button to cycle through different item boxes like rings, shields, speed shoes, coins, and so on. 
Keep cycling through your item boxes until you come across a box with an S on it. Then, press the Y button to create a super item box. Keep in mind, you can create more than one of each item while in debug mode. There's no limit to it, as far as I know. I also recommend creating more than one super box as you want to be stacked up on rings while you're in super or hyper form. Finally, to exit debug mode, simply press the X button again. Then, break the super boxes and you'll change it to either Super or Hypersonic, Tails or Knuckles. And last but not least, if the Egg Reverie code is active, simply press the jump button twice, and congratulations, you can now fly all around the stage to your heart's content. Of course, while you're transformed, you're gonna want to make it a point to keep an eye on your rings as they will start counting down. You know how this goes, I assume. When you run out of rings, you'll go back to normal, but you just learn how to use debug mode, which immediately solves your problem. In addition, press the jump button while flying in any direction to perform the super dash, which costs 5 rings each time. It's kind of a pointless thing to mess around with, and why would you want to speed up your consumption of rings? But again, debug mode, that really isn't an issue, is it? Just something that might be worth playing around with once in a while. To be sure you're aware of this, the Egg Reverie code can be used with any character, Sonic, Tails, or Knuckles, whichever one you want. In my video I made for Gamma, I got told off in the comments section for saying that this code could only work with Sonic, when in fact it does work with Tails and Knuckles also. Why did I say it couldn't work with them? Because I tested this code prior to making that video, and Tails just flew as he normally does. And by the way, even when Tails in his hyper form, he can still get tired while doing his helicopter flight. That does not make any sense to me. You'd think the Super Emeralds would have given him almost limitless energy. I'm starting to think my boy Tails needs to hit that gym. And as for Knuckles, he gets stuck in his sprite facing forwards while he's flying around, which tells me this wasn't coded all the way through. Just a little fun fact for you. Although I did use debug mode in this video, you don't need to have it turned on to use the Egg Reverie code. However, you will need the All Emeralds code if you don't want to bother with debug, as you're obviously going to need the Emeralds to enjoy the benefits of the Egg Reverie code. So to summarize, Use debug mode or the all emeralds code, then go into any stage, collect enough rings, take on your super or hyper form, then double jump, and have fun flying all around the stage causing mayhem! And that wraps it up for this tutorial video, hope it helps you out. Thank you so much for watching, I might think about posting other tutorials like this if the need arises. If there's anything you'd like to learn how to do in any Sonic game, just leave a request in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Till then, Thank you for watching, and see you soon with more Sonic videos. As always, blue blurs for life. Peace out. <laughs>